everyone. We're back. We're back. Okay, so I'm having a problem with the Lyric Grid here. Um, it's not refreshing when when a list is updated. So we can try to create um, for this. We can try to uh, simulate what I was talking, or yeah, is it the right way to to say it? Or I don't know. Okay, so this one here, I will create an observable. Hey, come, come on. Okay, so this is going to be observable item grid page. Okay, I guess I'm a domain driven design guy, so I am very specific on my name my naming the namings of everything so, okay so okay so I'll create another class here this is going to be the um, the code behind of the racer page that we just created and this is going to be a partial here All right so we're going to copy and paste th things here we're going to use this one here, but I think we don't need it. Yeah, we need it. Okay, so we're going to add a grid here. Okay, so we're going to add a grid here. And this, oh, we don't need this. And then we don't need this, guys, here. And we just need the items here, which in which we're going to first declare it here. So we're going to declare here private list of item. It's going to be items. So this items here is binded here in our Telerik grid. So there we can add say items is equals to new list of item and then we're going to say item name hey give me a name what's my item So it's pointing to the racer page. We need to point it to our core model. Core core that models dot item. Okay, and then name here will be poop. And then we're gonna list it here. Overloaded. What? 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 Okay, so we're going to add that one there. Add that one there. Um. All right. So poop. And what else here? Um. Brown. Brown. I, I'm not sure if it's related, but yeah, okay. All right. So we are going to declare a page. This is going to be a page. This is going to be observable items. And then we're going to put that in our navigation. So our navigation here will be observable items. Observable items. observable items so we hit run <coughs> I think my my screen is too big for you guys but I'm 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 trying to find a way how to zoom in when I'm whenever I start 
typing so that it will help you guys so so guys so guys so guys <clears throat> okay so we're going to click this one here and we're going to expect that we have a yep we have it there we don't need this toolbar here uh, that toolbar we don't need that then do a refresh hey, where is our Hey, where's our app? Damn it. Dang it. Oh, there you go. It just takes time to load. Okay. So we have it there. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. So, the problem here is that let's try to connect this to our database. Okay. So we already have a um, we already have a service here that we can use. This is um, we're going to inject this in our racer page. Inject this good boy here. And this is the item service. And then we're then going to use this. So we're going to say here private void hydrate items so um, that is going to be items equals await item item service that get list okay and this is not going to be a void this is going to be async task okay and if we're we're then going to remove this we're going to say await hydrate items right so that will populate our thing here our telluric grid telluric grid it's gonna be hydrated with data from our database okay so let's try and see okay we're going to click this right so there you go we have our data here and then we're going to open our um we're going to open our database and update and add data there directly and see if where we can change um, our grids data so hold on let me check the connection string here first it's blazor x local blazor x local all right so blazor x local here all right things first here so this is our database here and this is the output data so if we're going to insert a new one here insert into oh, give me my uh, this one into there then value so let's just put it a name then values is say um, C sharp okay uh, so what is uh, created so yeah I missed to put a, a, a default computation there but yep say um, okay so we already have a C sharp there and C sharp here and we should be able to see a uh, new C sharp here without 
without having to press anything but we don't have that functionality yet we're just going to simulate it first we're going to add a button here button we're going to add a button here so we're going to say uh, dev and then this is going to be a telerik telerik button here where's my button button telerik grid uh, telerik button and then say um, click on click on click here it's going to say um, reload reload grid all right so reload grid so reload grid here is gonna be a method here in our in our um, code behind and then it's going to be an async task hello grid here grid, grid here and then we're going to call the hydrate again so that it will take a fresh copy of the newly inserted data so we're going to uh, run this again <coughs> wait let's wait for it hey 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 right <coughs> common so okay we have the observable here we click this one okay we have a we have it there so we're going to add a new one or we're going to say F sharp and then run it one so if we click this so it's there it's C sharp So I I just saw somebody is um, like they have a very serious situation in the chat. Was leaving was seen leaving a bar at 9:30 p.m. Yeah, and I don't know if I can continue this tutorial here because. Uh, okay, I'll just continue. Okay, so we have it here, C sharp okay so we can set a timer here maybe um, just remove this one here remove that bad boy over there reload grid here um, we're going to set a timer here we're going to say it's um, var timer equals new system dot timers timers that timer and we're going to set it first at maybe two seconds two seconds seconds so timer here will be um, will be set for hey don't be shy come on okay so it's um, enabled equals true timer that auto res reset is true and then a timer that elapse will be the event here on tick okay 
So this is going to be an event. Let's generate. Uh, let our our um, IDE uh, Visual Studio to generate that. And then here we're going to say hydrate. Hydrate items. Okay. So because uh, we can't do an await on that event there, you can say here wait. Think this is a, a bad practice. So I'm still um, I will try to find a way how to do this um, properly because this thing here is a sign that this is a that is a bad code. Okay. So all right, so here, here, um, okay. So let's let's run this again. I was I was seen leaving a bar at 9:30 p.m. So we have an error, just my code is enabled. Um, what error do we have it here? Yeah, so there's an exit thing thing there that is going on. So mm, so maybe we um, our timer here is not a good idea. I'll just get back to you guys because um, I think there's a serious situation in the chat channel or chat channel. Uh, somebody's missing in Singapore, and yep, hopefully everything's gonna be fine. All right, thanks guys. Bye.